Hi, everyone. As you may know, during the U.S. citizenship test, the officer will ask the yes-no questions on the form N-400. Some people also ask vocabulary definitions when they want to test your understanding of English. A lot of applicants failed the interview because they didn't learn the word definitions. So, in order to pass your interview successfully, make sure you also learn at least 45 word definitions in this video along with 37 questions. This is the most important vocabulary that the officer may ask. The 37 questions are on part 9 of the new form N-400. We make everything easy for you, so let's try. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen in writing or any other way? No. What does claim mean? To say something is true. Do you understand what claim to be a U.S. citizen means? To state you are a U.S. citizen. Have you ever registered to vote or voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. What does register mean? To sign up. Do you understand what vote means? To elect new leaders. Do you currently owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes in the United States? No. What does O mean? To have a debt. Do you know how to explain O taxes? To owe the government money. What does overdue mean? Past a deadline. Since you became a lawful permanent resident, have you called yourself a non-resident alien on a federal, state, or local tax return? Or decided not to file a tax return because you considered yourself to be a non-resident? No. Can you define non-resident alien? Person who has not passed the green card test. Have you ever advocated, supported, or promoted any of the following or been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any group anywhere in the world that advocated any of the following. Opposition to all organized government. World communism. The establishment in the United States of a totalitarian dictatorship. The overthrow by force or violence or other unconstitutional means of the government of the United States or all forms of law. The unlawful assaulting or killing of any officer or officers of the government of the United States or of any other organized government because of their official character. The unlawful damage, injury, or destruction of property or sabotage. No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any communist or totalitarian party 
anywhere in the world? No. Can you explain what Communist Party is? Like China, North Korea. What does totalitarian party? Government controls everything and people have no power. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with, or have you ever provided money, a thing of value, service or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that used a weapon or explosive with the intent to harm another person or cause damage to property? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with, or have you ever provided money, a thing of value, services, or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that engaged or participated in kidnapping, assassination, or hijacking, or sabotage of an airplane, ship, vehicle, or any other mode of transportation? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with, or have you ever provided money, a thing of value, services, or labor, or any other assistance or support to a group that threatened, attempted, conspired, prepared, planned, advocated for, or incited others to commit kidnapping, assassination, hijacking, sabotage, or use a weapon or explosive with the intent to harm another person or cause damage to property? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in torture? No. Do you understand what torture means? To hurt someone physically. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in killing or trying to kill any person? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in genocide? No. What is genocide? To kill a whole race. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in injuring or trying to injure any person intentionally and severely? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in any kind of sexual contact or activity with any person who did not consent or was unable to consent or was being forced or threatened by you or by someone else? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with or otherwise participated in causing harm or suffering to any person because of their race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, 
or political opinion? No. Have you ever ordered, incited, called for, committed, assisted, helped with, or otherwise participated in not letting someone practice their religion? No. Have you ever served in, been a member of, assisted, or participated in any military or police unit? No. What is a military unit? A group works for government. Have you ever served in, been a member of, assisted, or participated in any armed group, for example, paramilitary unit, self-defense unit, vigil anti-unit, rebel group, or guerrilla group? No. Have you ever worked, volunteered, or otherwise served in a place where people were detained? For example, a prison, jail, prison camp, detention facility, or labor camp, or have you ever directed or participated in any other activity that involved detaining people? No. What does detained mean? Held in custody by police. What is prison or jail? A place where prisoners are kept. Were you ever a part of any group or did you ever help any group, unit, or organization that used a weapon against any person or threatened to do so? No. Can you explain what weapon is? Like a knife or gun. Have you ever sold, provided, or transported weapons or assisted any person in selling, providing, or transporting weapons which you knew or believed would be used against another person? No. Have you ever received any weapons training, paramilitary training, or other military-type training? No. What does weapons training mean? To learn how to use a gun. What is military-type training? Learning to fight in combat. Have you ever used any person under 15 years of age to take part in hostilities or attempted or worked with others to do so? No. Have you ever recruited, enlisted, conscripted, or used any person under 15 years of age to serve in or help an armed group, or attempted or worked with others to do so? No. Have you ever committed, agreed to commit, asked someone else to commit, helped commit, or tried to commit a crime or offense which you were not arrested? No. Can you explain what crime is? An action that breaks the law. What is commit a crime? To do something that breaks the law. 
What does offense mean? A minor crime. Can you explain what arrested means? Handcuffed by police. Have you ever been arrested, cited, detained, or confined by any law enforcement officer, military official in the U.S. or elsewhere, or immigration official for any reason, or been charged with a crime or offense? No. What does cited mean? Given a ticket by police. Do you understand what charged means? Police tell you that you did something illegal. If you received a suspended sentence, were placed on probation, or were paroled, have you completed your suspended sentence, probation, or parole? Have you ever engaged in prostitution, attempted to procure or import prostitutes or persons for the purpose of prostitution, or received any proceeds or money from prostitution? No. What does procure mean? To find someone for sex. Do you understand what prostitute is? Someone who has sex for money. Have you ever manufactured, cultivated, produced, distributed, dispended, sold, or smuggled any controlled substances, illegal drugs, narcotics, or drug paraphernalia in violation of any law or regulation of a U.S. state, the United States, or a foreign country? No. What does smuggle mean? To take things to a country illegally. Can you explain what illegal drugs or narcotics are? Like heroin or cocaine. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever married someone in order to obtain an immigration benefit? No. What is immigration benefit? Things like a visa, green card, or citizenship. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No. What does it mean to gamble? To play a game for money. Have you ever failed to support your dependents or to pay alimony? No. What is pay alimony? To pay money to ex-spouse after a divorce. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. 
What does public benefit mean? Welfare, like food stamps. Have you ever given any U.S. government officials any information or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No. Do you understand what false is? Not true. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Can you explain what lie means? To say something that is not true. Have you ever been placed in removal, rescission, or deportation proceedings? No. Have you ever been removed or deported from the United States? No. Are you a person born as a male who lived in the United States at any time between your 18th and 26th birthdays? No. Did you register for the Selective Service? No. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Have you ever applied for any kind of exemption from military service in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Have you ever served in the U.S. Armed Forces? No. Do you now have or did you ever have a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No. What does hereditary title mean? A royal title like prince or princess. What is an order of nobility? Like king or queen. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes. Do you know what Constitution means? It is the supreme law of the land. Can you explain what form of government of the United States is? Republic. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. What is Oath of Allegiance? A promise to be loyal to the United States. Are you unable to take the Oath of Allegiance because of a physical or developmental disability or mental impairment? No. Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services 
in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes. Can you explain what non-combatant services means? Services that do not involve combat. If the law requires it, are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes. Do you understand what bear arms means? To own or use a gun. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes. What is a civilian? A person who is not in the military. What is work of national importance? Tasks that are important to a nation. Do you know how to define civilian direction? A direction from a person who is not in the military.